been years since I last set foot in Bangkok, but because of a work-related event, I got to visit the lovely capital of Thailand once again. So much has changed. Like, wow, getting a cab at the airport is now automated. My colleague Rainy and I had one agenda in mind, a food trip. That night, we braved the rains and traffic to eat the best pad thai at Thip Samai, which turned out to be closed on Mondays. Thankfully, the eatery right beside it was open and its pad thai was every bit a winner. Eager to get the most out of our trip, we made our way to Khao San Road on foot. It's my favorite street in Bangkok, with ice cream, massages, and beer easily available. Why wouldn't it be? We had some drinks and then of course, I got ice cream. The next day, we set out to find Cafe Bang Rap. To work up an appetite, we first stopped by Lumpini Park and marveled at the little haven right in the middle of the bustling city. Finding Cafe Bang Rap proved to be a challenge. Always turn left. 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 Bangkok lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Always turn left. There's one rule in Bangkok. Go Always left. Turn go left. left. <laughs> if somebody tells you to go right, right. that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we did end up finding it and falling in love with the local art it featured and of course the fantastic food. On our last day, we headed to the Bangkok Art and Culture Center. This place is highly recommended. Entrance is free, the building is fantastic, and the artworks and quaint stores are aplenty. We came for the food, finding it became the adventure, one I definitely enjoyed. Till next time, Bangkok!